Welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. I got some colorful shirts to wear to work. Let's get started. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week, I have some colorful shirts that I wear or will wear to work. But to make me feel good and to make me feel cheery, I like to wear color. So I wanted to bring you some ideas of colorful outfits. Also, I'm going to show you some new in stuff that I have. At the end of each video, I'm going to do a devotion. And because I told you last week, I was going to start telling you, what am I doing, right? What am I doing? Because it's a lot going on in the world, guys, right? It's so much going on out there. You have to get prayed up. You have to decide on, you know, whatever God, spirit, whatever you following, you need to get that relationship because the world is going to hell in a handbasket. It's truly. <laughs> All you got to do is turn on the news. Turn on any streaming anything. Your phone, news, it's everywhere. It's a lot going on. So what I do is, I don't, since I don't go to church, now, why I don't go to church? Well, my experiences in churches haven't been really good because what happens is, you think you go there and all you're supposed to be doing is following um, God's word and making sure that you're doing the things you're supposed to do as a human being, even if you won't, don't want to put religion into it. But when you see these same people doing the opposite of everything that they are supposed to be representing as a Christian, you be like, <laughs> so you disassociate from it. And I'm not saying that it, it will not be one that I will ever go to. I'm just saying I haven't found one that is just all they care about. Nothing else. Nothing but the word of God. When I find that, then okay. But until then, I want to make sure that my personal relationship is strong. I want to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And... I should be bringing it to those. Let's go ahead and start with the clothes because I got some serious color clothes for you. <laughs> so the first thing I got is this beautiful, colorful, um, it's actually, it looks like a bodysuit, but it's not. It just has this part that goes tight around your body. That's why it was okay to tuck it in and it is vintage and it comes all the way down so if you want to be really sexy you could uh, but it also has a snap closure so i wore it with this pink little bralettes um just because just in case something peeks through but look at this look at the colors in this the beautiful green and it looks, you know, got that little Versace look going on. And look at the black and white stripes, which make it even better. This is what, look at the back. So the colors that's in here go together so well that I, you would definitely have to put this on with something that the bottom, even your shoes, nothing, everything is plain. So that the shirt is the only thing that pops out. If you put on color with too many things that don't coordinate and make it too many loud things, that's when it's a little overwhelming. But if you put it on with just like I did with this plain black, um, with these plain black pants I got from H&M, wide leg, I got them a little oversized and they are so comfortable. So you don't always have to be dressed up when you go to work. You can be comfortable and you can just put on, you don't have to put on heels each and every time. Uh, but because these are so long, that is why you see them with, with me with heels on, is because these pants are so long. And 
I thought that that was just a great look. Make you feel good, nice and comfortable, but has some color to it. After that, my second colorful shirt is this beautiful black, yellow, red, and here's my black and white pinstripes again. The good thing is when you are at work, it's cool, right? It's not hot. So you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, that's too hot. That's too much going on. You can actually, when you, this is, you can take it off when you get off work and you have on just this white. I got this just white, I call them <laughs> white, women white beaters. <laughs> but you have that on and you can take that off. But I decided to put it on with a skirt. So as you see, it looks really cute and I have it open, so therefore it won't look as dressy, but then when fall come, I can have this button up and wear it with a pair of jeans and a pair of red pumps. Make the look totally fall or winter, but because it's summer, leave it open, and when you get off work, you can take it off. And you know I try to find shirts that, while I'm working on my fupa, bottom of my stomach, I like to wear things that if I have to close it up because I feel more comfortable closing it up that day, I can do that too. So it's, it's all in how you want to style it. But I really like these colors and this is also a vintage shirt. One is this shirt and this is another vintage shirt and I really want to show you this shirt. Let me try to keep it on the hanger so you can really see it. These colors remind me of fall because I'm ready for fall, right? We, we sick of summer. We love summer. We glad when it's here and we love it. But living in Florida, okay, it's, a, it's enough is enough. Give me some cooler temperatures because there is no fall. It's just a little cooler. But look at... Look at all the beautiful colors in this. It has the rust color with the green, the tan, and the blue. And the design is just gorgeous. You know it's not a video until I say a word wrong. You already know that. It is gorgeous. And it is that all the way around and on the button. See the buttons? The buttons was hand painted just like the shirt. Vintage. You do not find the quality of clothes. Now they making them faster, they, they, they you know, they trendy, they making them good and that's great. But go to the thrift store and find you some unique items that make it your own. And it doesn't even have to be colorful. Go find you some it's plenty of cream, tan, black, all kinds of clothes that you can find. It does not have to always be colorful, but it's going to be colorful for me. So I put on another Walmart uh, women's wife beetle. And then I have my vintage um, green. You've seen these before. These are by Amin when she used to... When she had when she had clothes that she was um, when she had clothes a clothing line and you've seen me wear these before this just reminded me of fall so I had to incorporate it even though you can definitely wear it to work so and of course like I always do you see in the outfits on in the styling portion which I got some doozies for y'all it's just. I went all out on this one. I had to go through my closet and say, look, all I want to do is some colorful shirts. And I was amazed at how many colorful shirts I have. And I have not styled any of these yet. You my styling board. You are the ones I present this to. And then each one of these outfits, I'm gonna wear to work. So, two for one. Come on. 
don't worry, it's plain in the back. <laughs> so it's all yellow, but on the sleeves here on, look at these colors. Go on vacation, you can also wear this, of course, but you can wear this to work. Look at the buttons. The buttons are different colors, but they made of little flowers. Vintage. Vintage all day long. And you can't go wrong with this purple and yellow. But you see, I buttoned this one up this time because I wanted to show the whole shirt as it is. And I wore it with these thrifted purple pants. And let me see what these pants are by. Casper. So yeah, these are also vintage pants. Bringing out the purple and the yellow in that and I just put on me a pair of purple slides to make you know the whole bottom purple so that just the colors just the colors in the shirt you have got to tell me what which one of these outfits you like which colorful shirt would you wear to work if you would ever wear a colorful shirt to work my last outfit and you know i have to bring you a blazer come on you know it ain't me without a blazer so i wore this beautiful orange vintage blazer and this is bad uh this is a vintage banana republic blazer gorgeous with this vintage shirt look at the details look at the back you got your orange, your pink, your greens, your purple, all your royal colors. And it's the colorful sleeves, but then it's got the pink at the bottom and around the lapel and all the colors is around. And see how the pink, and then you got the outlay of your shirt. And then look at the buttons. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you know vintage too. They don't just have white, plain white buttons. And this one is by Andrea Gale. So I can tell you right now that this is very vintage. And I put it on with this H&M skirt. It's long and it's got the, the puff out a little at the bottom. So see what I mean about pairing vintage with um, with your Zara's and your H&M's and any other store that you want to have in a, a, a clothing article that's not vintage, that may be just trendy, but you want to add your vintage pieces or try it. Some people start off with just a bag, one colorful bag, and they may introduce because they think it's too loud and too much, and that's okay. So do it with a, a pump, do it with a, with a bag, do it with your accessories, because as you see, I will bring out my accessories as well, because it all expresses who you are, right? So let's get to just a few items that I got. I'm telling y'all, I'm in the fall mood. So the first thing I got was, come on, look at this. I love a structured bag. Look at this bag. Is this not ready for, is this not ready for fall? I am ready for fall. I'm just, I got my colors, I got my bag. I'm not playing no games, I'm ready. And I got, look at the feet. This bag looks like nobody ever wore it. Look at it, on the inside. Perfection. And I cannot wait to rock this. Beautiful colors, soon as fall hit, I'ma rock this bag. And I got it from, I put the Instagram here or here. And I got me another duster. You know I'm gonna be dusted down when the fall get here. But look at this one. Look at these beautiful colors. Look at the cream, the pink, 
the gold, the details. It doesn't do it justice because it's wrinkled right now, but once I steam it, look at this. Beautiful. And the, you know by me being short, everything comes the length it's supposed to. I cannot wait to wear this. And, and I like the fact that it's got that, it's that cream without a lot, like it's nothing going down the duster. Everything is intricate just right here, but the details in it, it's the details for me. Look at that. This is not no modern day dust with, but you can wear it now. Look at the colors. Look at the colors. And I like that it has this, um, what is this called? It's not plastic though. You know what this is, the um, the clear, I'm, I'm gonna be so mad because I'm gonna remember what this is later, but it's clear around the pot that goes around your foot. But look at the details of the color in this and the beautiful heel. And look at the fall colors. I haven't even tried it on. I sure hope it fit. Let me try it on. Ooh, honey. Yes, honey. So I got this shirt right here. And what happened was I made a mistake and threw it in the wash. It was cream with some jeans. It, I did not know it was a I didn't know it was a pair of jeans in there. So this became blue. You know how it gets the blue all around it and you can tell, wait, you wash that with jeans. And it was cream. So I decided to dye it. And it came out with this beautiful tie-dye look that I think is gorgeous. And I'm saving it for fall, even though I could wear it now, but I probably will wear it to work. But look at it. I actually like it like this. All I did was put it in some, I let it sit for, I think a day in some green. And this is how it came out here. So I got an orange, blue, green. So every time that something get a stain on it that can't come out, I'm gonna dye it. Especially something that's white or cream, or if you find something at the thrift store and it'd be like, oh, this is why they got rid of it, especially white or cream. And it has a stain on it that just can't. Okay, really? Okay. It's not a video either if, if my earring don't come out. Y'all already know. It is not a video if my earring does not come off. Come on. So instead of uh, throwing something away or not buying the shirt, especially when you get it from the thrift store because they got rid of a beautiful shirt because it has a stain and it can't come out, diet these earrings. I didn't know I was gonna wear these as much as I do, but they are handmade by a lady who sells them. I put her Instagram. When she make them, she have her lives. Look at that big white stone. And then this right here is that material that's like, um, Crochet, it's, cro it's definitely crochet, uh, the crochet uh, fabric. That's exactly what it is. And I didn't think I would wear these as much. I wear these all the time. And I love wearing them to bingo. I got me some stuff in from Amazon that has been working really good. The Curvy uh, Moisturizing Cream, I needed something specifically for my face because I cannot put a lot of stuff on my face. Everything breaks me out. If I try, I definitely can't put anything on with any type of perfume or anything in it. You know how people just put any lotion on their face? I can't do that. So this, I said, I need some moisturizer and I wanted to try it, especially when I take my makeup off and I wash my face. Um, it feels so dry. This has been working out on my face and on my feet. 
this right here is really good. I don't know what took me so long to get it. Um, so go on Amazon if you're looking for a any kind of moisturizer um, or something to protect your skin. Put this on. And I put it on before I put on makeup to protect my skin from the makeup, even though I don't wear a lot of makeup. I put that on also. And this Jergens Sandalwood and Vanilla. This right here is so good. Uh, it's It has sandalwood and with a warm spice notes and sandalwood essential oil. So it is definitely... Um, it smells so good. If you like um, masculine scents, you would love this. Or if you got some perfumes, especially when coming up in fall, that has sandalwood in it, this is going to go with it really good. I got this for fall to go in my fall fragrances because I like little masculine scents. Okay, so that's everything. My outfits, my new in, and a few things I've gotten from Amazon. So now, if you're gonna part and leave or you're going to stay just for me and you to connect while I read this passage. Just so we can connect, just so that I can bring you some wisdom and words and stuff that will help you hopefully make it through the day, make it through the week, show you that it's good out there, it's goodness if you find it. And this is what's been helping me. The title today is Walk Boldly. The Lord is always good and ready to receive you. He's so loving that it will amaze you, so kind that it will astound you and he is famous for his faithfulness towards all everyone knows our God can be trusted for he keeps his promise God's best is yet to come don't give up trust him your past your worries your fears can be done away with he is releasing you into a new phase he has released joy peace and prosperity of your soul over you Keep stepping out into courage. Keep living in boldness. Keep saying, why can't I? He has created you to be a person of power and a person of influence. He trusts you to live out his love. You are a storehouse of peace. When God speaks something over you, he creates something new in you. He can create new things at any time. Maybe he'll create a new level of courage and boldness in you so you can demonstrate his heart to others, even when it feels scary. So even though I know that, I don't know, maybe some people say, mm -mm, I'm not going to her channel anymore. Even if, I'm not saying I'm going door to door, <laughs> but I can at least use my platform to fellowship and to spread the word like I'm supposed to. So it's been important to me to do my devotionals and I am not a Bible reader. I have tried. You know how you be like, well, maybe if I just get the, the, the Bible for dummies. <laughs> devotionals that have scriptures in it helps me better. So find what helps you or come back to my channel. I'll read a scripture to you and a devotion to you. And we'll use it as our fellowship together. Like, subscribe, come back. Enjoy. Bye, guys.